William Hill, the home of batting. Group one time then here on RPTV for the lock-ins, the mile. We've seen some scintillating performances in this over the years. Remember Hawkering all those years ago, my goodness gracious me. Despite the fact we've got 18 runners, a bumper field, an injection of prize money to 350 grand, it's not the classiest lock-ins you'll ever see. And I really think that Cream will rise here with Knight of Thunder having his first run for the boys in blue, still with Richard Hannon, James Doyle taking over. How many times did he clash against him, James Doyle with Kingman? If Kingman was in this race, he'd be absolutely no price whatsoever. Knight of Thunder should have won on his, uh, on his sort of sign-off at uh, race at Ascot on Champions Day. They've got the tactics totally wrong. He's drawn low, but it's pace around him, notably custom cut, who I think has got a bit of an each way chance as well. But uh, I'd be amazed if he doesn't pick him up later on. The more he drifts, the more I like him. Hannon has also got two or more. Not too much between them. His first time out record is there to see. Champion two-year-old a couple of years ago. Was it a growing season for him last year? And if you look back at that Champions Day run with him and Knight of Thunder, there's not that much between them. I just think the Knight of Thunder, going forward, we yet to see the best of this classic winner. Integral down the bottom, Stout's record in the race. Sheevely Park's record in the race. Just whether she's going to be ch cherry ripe first time up. She was beaten at Newmarket on her return. She can be buzzy. She can be keen. Let's go for Knight of Thunder to prove his class.